We don't get this question where we will solve. We will use waiting we don't learn. Use solving. The question now about RLC series circuit. I go read them. I go read them the way we did for board. A series RLC circuit consists of a resistor of 500 ohms, inductor of 5 Henry, and capacitor 5 microfarad, an AC voltage of 15 volts, RMS, and frequency 50 hertz is applied across the series circuit. Calculate I, current flowing through the circuit, II voltage across LC and R, that is voltage across the inductor, capacitor, and resistor. III, phase angle between I and V. IV, average power supplied. V, power factor, VI, which lacks I or V, gave reason. So we go come solve this problem now. We could see how we go use what we don't learn before you solve all these things. Eh? Now, small thing, you know, hard. Maybe we solve and see. First, we will bring out the things where we know for the question. If you see the question, we know the resistance. They give us the value now 500. The inductance they also give us the value now 5 Henry. We also know the capacitor now 5 microfarad. That is the capacitance of that capacitor. Maybe we solve and see how we did one. I will write them out. I do now 500. Then L. We then give us now 5 Henry. They come give us capacitance. We then be the value we then give us there. Now 5 micro column, but I will convert them directly. Make a change them. Go farad. Okay, 5 micro farad. Make change them directly. Go farad. To change them, I will carry and multiply 10. We carry minus 6 on top. They come give us, say, the AC voltage we then put for that AC circuit now 15 volts. But they call that 15 volts, root mean square voltage. So I will put on VRMS. Now 15. 15 volts. Then give us the frequency where they this uh, circuit to. The frequency. Now 50 hertz. Okay, now make we see what we can do. The first way they say make we get. Now current, we don't know. Current where they work out. Around for inside the circuit, we don't know. So I will take get the current. If we want get the current, the formula we will use now the voltage where they inside the circuit. We can divide them by the thing where they oppose the current where they move about for inside that circuit. And if you see this circuit, it contains all the three things: resistor, inductor, and capacitor. So what in the oppose current there? Now it's what they call impedance. I will come write say the formula. Say I now equal to, make I use blue marker, I can't write that formula. The right hand say I now equal to uh, V, can't divide them by Z. Now, they give me this V for the question, but now the root mean square voltage. But they tell us an AC voltage of 15 volt root mean square. So now it will come use, take, find the value. Huh? Now, if you say this one can't give us V, can't divide them by Z. But we don't know Z. We will remember the formula where we will carry the fine Z. Now, the formula now will be this. Uh -huh. So, make we go find waiting this thing B first. We get plenty of things we will find for inside here. Let me find them first. We will need to know the value of XL. You know, say if we want get X L, now this formula now we will use. So me, I will come put the value for inside now. Frequency will then give us for the question now 50. I'll come multiply them for with the value will they give us for L will be 5. So waiting inductive reactance will give me. Make I press calculator, see what we will get. 2 pi. Come times and by 250, 250, 50 times 5. 
So what they give me now 500 pi, I will get the answer in decimal. This one now 1570.8 ohms, now you give me. I will come go find XC join 2. You know say XC the formula now 1 over 2 pi FC. That one can be 1 over 2 pi. My frequency, where they give me now 50. I'll come multiply them by the capacitance value will be 5 times 10 raised to power minus 6. But remember, I don't talk this thing before for one question where we solve. Say in this 10 raised to power minus 6, where they under here. If I carry and go up, it will change to 10 raised to power positive 6. So now wait till I'll come right like this be this. Make we get the answer. 10 raised to power 6. We they divide them. We they divide them by. I will put all this one for inside brackets. 2 pi. Come multiply them by 250. So waiting that one give me here now 636. 6 ohms. Time down reach. I will go get z value now. So I will say z now square root. They use this formula, carry gate z. R square. I already give me the 500. I go square run. Come put plus, open bracket. X L where I get now 1570.8. Come minus 636. That is XC. I go put out for bracket, come square run. Now this whole thing I will give me impedance z for this circuit. Too. So z here. Make we know what thing it will give us. No, no, it will give us. So, uh, square root. Uh, I will open brackets. Put 500. Come square run. Put plus. I will open another bracket because I won't get the answer once. 1570.8 minus 636.6. Close brackets. I go square run. Come close another bracket. So, what did he give me now? 1059.6 approximately. 1069.6 ohms. Now, this one may be the impedance for this circuit. So, I will feel get the current when they work out about for the circuit now. So, to get that current, I can say I now, now equal to, I will use this formula now. V will they give me now 15. I will come divide that 15. Can't use impedance. Why? Get 1069. Oh, 1059. Maybe 60. Now 59. Then 0.6. Okay. So 1059.6. Make we see what in the current. Where did it work out for the circuit B? 15 and they divide them by 1059 come put 0.6. So waiting this one give me the torque the current now 0.014 ampere. Now this current nine day they move about for the circuits where they, they ask us question here. So we're gonna now get the voltage where they across the inductor, the capacitor and the, the resistor. I will go come back and eh? make I take small break. I don't work I come back from the break. And now this time the same we find voltage with day for the inductor, the capacitor and the resistor. But that one I play play you know, not in day for inside that one. You can remember so we don't write the formula for all those ones before. So this one is more fine voltage with day for the inductor. We don't know. And me, I remember say we don't learn them together. Say voltage with day for inductor. How they carry get a mo now current when they work out about for the circuit. Can use and multiply. What do they call inductive reactance? That way inductor they carry the oppose the current when they work out about for the circuit. As we know the formula now, now so I can't carry put the value we will get for this current and this inductive reactance. Current, when we calculate before I go for the small break, why I come back, why I come back from now 0 0.014. So I will take and come multiply the thing where inductor they carry the opposed current will be inductive reactance. And we get the value of that one as 1000. 
570.8. So I will put them here times 1570.8. Now make we press our calculator, see what it will give us 0 0.014. And the use and the multiply 1570.8. When you calculate the time, you say that the answer is 21.99 ohms. So, now this one will be the voltage. No, it will not be ohms. So. Now, volts. Now, it will be the unit. Now, volts. Because now, voltage will be calculate. So, now this one will be the voltage ready for the inductor. So, we're going to go, go find the voltage ready for the capacitor. That one now, now VC, I no no. You remember, say, we don't also write the formula for that one, say, VC. The voltage with D inside the capacitor, that one known as current, coins are multiplied, which we call XC. And XC, now waiting capacitor, they take, they carry opposed current when they pass through, when they work out for inside the circuit. So they call them capacitive reactance, XC. We don't calculate the value of that one too, which we will gain at 636.6 ohms. So I will now come go come put the value of these things where they here. I will say uh, it implies it means say V subscript C will give us current now zero point zero one four. Go multiply them by six hundred and thirty six point six will be the value of X C. Maybe see what this one will give us zero point zero one four. I will multiply them by six three six point six. And then uh, what did they give now 8.912 okay uh, volts volts so now give the answer of the voltage we did for the capacitor this time around now the voltage we did the resistor now we won't find you no know, again now play plate in and that one b so i go write on v r we know no one I will now remember say we don't write the formula before say if you want to calculate voltage we did for resistor what we will do now to use current where they work out about for inside the circuit. Use and multiply resistance. Resistance, now what is resistor? They use to push current for circuits. Show that they follow it and they talk a bit. So uh, now I know what is resistance B. So I will just put the value. It means say voltage when they the resistor will be total current when they work out about for the circuit. And that current at 0 0.014, I will take and multiply 500. Where will be the value of resistance? Make we see what this one will give us. So 0 0.014, I will use and multiply 500. This one they give me 7 volts. 7 volts. You see, I'm a B? 7 volts. So I will put them as the answer. So we don't finish that one. No. Hmm. Yeah, we they move small, small. Make we see the third part of the question. The space where they go carry them. So I will solve them. Phase angle. Phase angle, that's what we call phi. Eh? That angle where they between current and voltage. You remember, say, we talk, say, phase angle phi. The value, if you want to get them, now this formula, now we go use oh, tan inverse of uh, XL minus XC. We go come divide them by resistance. Now the formula will be this. Okay, make I use blue marker, write the formula there again. Yeah? So I will write them again. Phase angle now tan inverse of XL. Come remove XC from inside. We we'll can't divide them by resistance. So now this one end with the formula. Make we put the value for this thing now. See what thing we will get. Phase angle can be tan inverse of what thing be our XL. Our SL now 1570. 1570 will come minus the XC. We will get at 636.6. .6. And I get our XC. Then I will come divide them by resistance will be 500. If I do this one, oh, make I see what it will give me. I will press on once, make we get the answer. Huh? We will not get plenty of space here again. So I will go press tan inverse for my calculator. Then I will open two brackets. One of the brackets will cover for the up. The other one, because of the one where I get down here. So we we'll now have 1570.8, please. 1570.8. Come put point 0.8. Good. So let me see what this one will give us. 1570.8. I can't remove 6. 
136.6 from inside, then come divide them by 500, then close the brackets. What in this one they give me from here? Make I see, okay. All right, I don't press them correctly from calculator here. So wait till you give me now 61.8, 61.8 degrees. Now this one be the phase angle. Answer. Now this one be the phase angle. My friend, though, as you don't get the phase angle here, wait now positive. Now plus it be, not be minus. Uh, it means say XL B pass XC. And because XL B pass XC, it now tell us say it's true. This circuit do not true say it contain resistance, inductance, and uh, capacitance. But the one with the powerful pass between capacitance and inductance. Say now inductance now they be pass and I get power pass the capacitor. Now I make the answer we will get here for phase angle now positive answer, no be minus. And waiting now to help us know now say current day for the back of voltage. Voltage come day in front of current. Why are they talk that one now? Because of this last question. So we don't actually know, we, we don't get waiting the last answer will be from this thing we will get here. Make I go for a small break. I will come back, we will solve the remaining one. Make we now get waiting the average power supply for this circuit B. And for us to get an you remember say we talk say average power na root mean square current you come multiply them with root mean square voltage then you come multiply them by cos of what we call the phase angle so the formula we will go use here now what we don't know before so this is this question now play play question if you understand that come remember all the things we don't learn now to play with them we did for IV now. IV. What is the same we find our average power? I go write and P average. We know no. I will remember the formula. But we know say P average. Now current root mean square. Come multiply and voltage root mean square. Then we come multiply and by waiting with the call power factor. Cause phi. As I know the formula like this, what I will do now to find what will be the value of this current and voltage. We know the value before now, we don't get them. Current, where we calculate. Remember, say we get current when they work out for the circuit. That current we will get, we use this voltage, use get them. This voltage now root mean square voltage. So that current we will get there, we will still use them as root mean square current. That one at 0 0.014. Now, now it will get that time. You remember for the first part of the question. I will carry and multiply the root mean square voltage. Where be 15? Where them give us? Now 15, I need the value of that one. Root mean square voltage. So I will do 15. Come multiply and by cos phi. Remember, say so we just calculate phi from this place before I go for the short break. And we get 61.8. Now, what do we get with that? So, maybe we see what this thing will give us. The average power way, the way they inside the circuit, where the circuit they give out uh, 0 0.014. I will take and multiply 15. Come take and multiply cos 61.8. What in here they give me now 0. 099. Waiting would they use no power now? Watt. So I'll write on watt. Or you go still fit right on as 9.9. .9. Come do and times 10 raised to power. You put minus 2 on top. So any one of these two now the answer of the average power. Now make we get what we call power factor. Again, that one I play play. Power factor. You remember, say we say power factor, you go get them from cos phi. Either you use this one, or you go still fit use resistor divided by impedance to get the value. Any one way you use, you go get the answer. So the power factor now, mm, I won't write the formula. I only write the formula, use blue marker. 
cos phi, that one the same as resistance over impedance. So if I press cos phi, see what it will give me, what we'll see. Our phi, the phase angle is 61.8, 61.8. So the power factor now is 0 0.47. That one will get you need to, I will just put a mass answer like that. Now this one will be the power factor. If I don't want to use this thing, I feel use R over Z to get the power factor. What will be our R for the question? 500. Now you remember, say I don't be calculate Z impedance to be 1059.6. So 1059.6. Like I see, waiting they give me uh, 500 divided by 1059.6. Good. Waiting they give me from here, and I still 0.47. Waiting I get it. So any one of them will give you your answer. Now the last, the last last part of this question now, V I, they say which lacks I or V give reason. I go write small b grammar here now. Eh? So uh, from our analysis, from our analysis or calculation, calculation, comma, current I lags, lags V. What in that one mean we say V leads i the question is maybe we give reason to make i write another small english this is because this is because this is because xl is greater than xc xc or we go see if you talk say phi phase angle phase angle phase angle where we use phi it represents is positive so make a talk say is greater than zero or i will talk say now positive so now this one be the reason you know, we make current day for the back of voltage means a voltage day for front of current so we don't finish solve this question so if you like what you see here i beg comment this one is my first time where they try to they use full pigeon teach the least. I got to try them small, small. They put them with English one way they carry the land for school. Maybe we see how it will go. Eh? So, thank you. Recall, remember to subscribe to our channel at GMAS41. Turn on the notification bell. Eh? Make you press that bell with it there. So that anytime we will upload new video, you go. They inform. They will tell you, say, GMAS 41. Don't put new video. May you go see. If you feel learn anything from us, we will help you for your school.